you saw the headline. You either A reacted or B got the joke. When Play Anywhere was first announced, people flipped. People said that there was no need to buy Xbox One if the games were going to be on PC because people, in general, apparently, game on PC as much as console. Now whether you game on PC or not, you know, whatever your preference is, that's fine, but I've always believed that no one is ever going to think, oh I'll just buy an Xbox One for this game or PlayStation for this game while they main the game on PC. I never thought Play Anywhere hurt the Xbox One. And I don't think that PlayStation 4 games now going on to PlayStation Now on PC hurts PlayStation. But fanboys be fanboys, people reacted. It's a good thing. Think about it like this. Look at how much money Sony spent on Gaikai. And then Microsoft announced backwards compatibility and Gaikai was essentially Sony's way to do some sort of kind of backwards compatibility. This is a way for them to keep recoup some of that money. And I've seen people say that games are still exclusive because they're not running natively on PC. The damage control is hilarious. Absolutely hilarious. But it's sad at the same time because you have these people that have trolled Xbox fans for years just because you know some games go on to PC and I'm a console gamer I don't really game on PC anymore haven't in a long time you know I just prefer console is PlayStation now an option for me to use on my laptop because remember for PlayStation Now, all you need is a crappy notebook. But for Play Anywhere, you actually need a decent PC. So more people can play PlayStation 4 games on PC than people can play Xbox One games on PC. Now, like I said at the start of this video, I don't think it's an issue. But the people that have just hated for ages, the trolls, the toxic fanboys that have continuously said no reason to get a, a Xbox dog. One because, you know, games are on PC. Well, I could say it's karma. I could say you deserve this. But at the same time, I'm better. All I'll say is this. It was funny. You know, people are coming up with new excuses saying that but PlayStation Now is only going to be indies and third party titles just stop because to be honest at the end of the day this is seriously absolutely embarrassing now let's get on to the good news Microsoft are doing 4k 60fps game capture on Xbox Project Scorpio this is awesome now I've looked into 4K capture cards and I found one and it cost nearly $400. That is bloody insane. But Microsoft's going to have a system out that does 4K game capture. This is huge news for YouTubers. More and more 4K content is getting uploaded onto YouTube every day. More and more people are buying 4K TVs. So this is actually quite a really good thing now for some people it's going to be hard for them to upload because you know the file sizes are absolutely massive but at the end of the day it's an option and options are good all this Scorpio news coming out you know it, it looks really promising and to be honest I'm really looking forward to the stuff that we're gonna get next you know because we've had some you know we've had some weird reactions from people when it comes to Scorpio stuff you know people saying it's gonna be you know basically a PC like I think people just overreact sometimes anyway that's it for today but I just want to say that 
I haven't been uploading videos the past week or so because I've been massively ill. So I'm getting back to regular content. Hopefully I won't get ill again. But I'm back. Anyway, if you enjoyed the video, hit like and subscribe. Hit that bell for notifications. I'm out. Have a bloody good day.